This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. Hey guys, it's Big Paul. Today I'm going to talk about why most people fuck up the post-cut, post-rebound phase of dieting. They do it completely wrong, and I disagree with how most people do it. Uh, they usually cut out the, their hormones and create a hormonal crash. They usually do a stupid reverse diet, which makes no sense. I'll go into the reasons why here in a few seconds. And they just end up getting fat again. And I'm going to tell you how to avoid that in just one second. Okay, this one drives me nuts, and I, I think it's just sort of a, I don't know, bro sciencey thing that's been going on in bodybuilding and in the coaching community for years, and where people just, they think that after you come off a hard cut that you need to reverse diet, and that you need to come off all the hormones and fat burners that you're using, cold turkey. Now, if we take a step back and rationally think about this, if you come off all your gear and all your fat burners right after a really, really hard cut, what is going to happen to your body? You're going to have a hormonal crash. <laughs> your body's going to crash, especially coming off the stimulants cold turkey. Uh, your metabolism is just going to crash completely. Uh, if you come off the gear cold turkey, you're usually going to have a, a, a testosterone crash. Your, your test is going to go down to zero. And you're going to be in an estrogen-dominant environment. And what happens when you're in an estrogen-dominant environment, people? You get fat. You get bloated. You get hungry. And you're reverse dieting on top of it and starving yourself. Um, and eventually, you know, I, I hear my coach say it. He says, Graylin always wins. And it does. You're, you're going to have such insatiable hunger that you're going to crack and binge. And that's what I see happen over and over and over and over again. And I don't know why people continue to insist on <laughs> coming off a diet this way. You're restricted calories. So a lot of times they're still in a deficit. Increasing ghrelin even more. And then they create a hormonal crash. You're in an estrogen dominant environment making ghrelin and hunger even worse. Uh, and you have no <laughs> testosterone in your system uh, to, to promote fat burning and improve body composition. And you come off all the uh, stimulants and your body just crashes. Your metabolism just goes to fucking shit. You know, your thyroid might be low. And if you were taking thyroid <laughs> hormones... Uh, and you're just, you're just in a sick situation. And I see people, I've seen people gain 20, 30 pounds of fat in, in like a month after a show or a hard diet. And then you're fucked. You're fucked for your off season. Uh, you're fucked for the rest of the year. You have to do another diet phase just to get ready to do an off season. And it's just, it's a, it's a horrible, horrible, horrible way of doing it. In my opinion, people are going to disagree with me. I know there's going to be some people that are going to get butt hurt and say, yeah, I'm completely wrong about this. Um, I, I've done other videos on it, and I, it just drives me mad when I see people do this. They, they just put themselves in a really bad spot with their body composition from this idiotic way of doing things. So what makes more sense to me, and if you think about it logically, I think you would agree with me that it makes more sense, is to taper down your drugs from the cut that you did if you're using fat burners taper off of them and allow your body time to normalize taper down your your anabolics allow your body time to normalize don't quit the anti-estrogens cold turkey taper them down once again allow your body time to normalize and you're going to be hungry as fuck coming off a diet and if you're if you're do things correctly this is a prime time to add on quality new muscle tissue and the way you do that is by eating in a surplus. You know, so I would rather people eat a bunch of good food and not be hungry than 
do a stupid reverse diet and be starving and end up binging on fucking ice cream and donuts, which is what a lot of times happens when people do these dumbass reverse diets. You'd ha you'd have to have uh, <laughs> willpower of steel. You'd have to be like a fucking Navy SEAL to be able to withstand the amount of hunger that you get when you starve yourself after a hard diet. It, anybody who's done a hard diet knows what I'm talking about. It just, the, the hunger gremlin the Grayling gremlin just jumps on your shoulder and you can't stop yourself. You can't stop yourself. I've been elbow deep in the, in the box of cereal in the cabinet when I've tried to restrict myself after a hard diet. And then I just get fat or, or I've got my face in a jar of peanut butter and I'm just sucking the whole thing down. Um, at two in the morning when, when I starved myself after a hard diet and a lot of people have been there I'm eating all my kids' snacks. I'm raiding the cabinets. Not a good place to be. So I go hard to the paint after a hard diet and back into full off-season mode with, with calories and eating clean food. I think there's only so fat you can get eating meat and rice. If you're filling yourself up with meat and rice all day long and dealing with the hunger, that's way better than binging on snack foods. I, I promise you. And you're going to satiate yourself even if you have a, a cheat meal at the end of the day with that one cheat meal, like like kind of like a semi-clean cheat meal, like sushi or uh, steak and a potato or something like that at the end of the day, you know, so eat a bunch of carbs, uh, rice, carbs satisfy you. They, they help bring ghrelin back down. They help satiate you. So eat a bunch of clean carbs. So rice and meat during the day, keep your fats low. And then have a reasonable cheat meal at the end of the day for like the first week or two after you come off a hard diet. And then you'll find that your hunger subsides and you normalize. You actually add some good quality tissue when you do this. And you don't get fat like you do when you do the stupid fucking reverse diet that nobody can, can maintain. You're starving. You end up fucking up and you, and you binge. That's what happens when people do reverse diets. I've seen it over and over and over and over and over again. And I know some people say, well, you just got to be tough. You just got to be disciplined. After you've been dieting for that long, most people don't have that sort of willpower. You, everyone cracks eventually. Everyone cracks eventually. So I don't know. I just think that that way of doing things is pretty dumb. I think other people, it's probably not healthy for you, to be honest with you. So taper off the hormones, taper off the fat burners over like a four to six week period of time. Let your body normalize. Give yourself a bunch of clean, good food after you come off a hard diet. And then after a couple weeks, your hunger hormones regulate. They come back down and you'll start to feel normal again. And you're not going to crave all the junk that you were right after the show or right after your hard diet. I promise you, it's a much better way of doing things. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thank you for watching. For coaching or consultations, head over to www.anabolicbodybuilding.com to book your spot today. I can help you with optimizing hormones, fat loss, muscle gain, physique, athletic performance, nutrition, and health. For more information, shoot me an email at bigp3rd at gmail.com.